Hey guys, what's up? It's Mini Duff, and welcome back to episode 4 of our screen flow tutorial series. Check out this new background. It is pretty sweet. It wasn't made by me. I wish it was. I did a little bit, a little bit. I added I changed a little bit of the coloring and I added some of the blur effects, but most of it, I would say 95% of it was done by a guy called the Film Guy 1. Now, right here in the top right screen you can click the little annotation and you can go to his channel to see all the awesome After Effects tutorials he has up and stuff like that. Really cool guy, I suggest you subscribe. So with that, let's get on with the tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about exporting. So I, here I have a noob video of me not using the patcher on Minecraft, but that doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to export. So make sure your video is done before you export, obviously. Then go File, Export. Now you shouldn't have any custom settings so right now I export with 720p for YouTube and I'm gonna make that default so right now off the start click the manage button now for some reason this keeps popping up I don't want it there so I'm gonna save that setting let's go back in here and we're going to add a new custom preset now I don't know why it doesn't let you add a new preset from here but what I do is just copy the web high multipass. Just press copy and it should give you a custom preset down here. So I'm just going to name this copy for now. You can rename it later, but you should name it 720p for YouTube. The name won't affect anything. So now go into here, click edit, then make sure these are all checked. And this is on fast start. So check all these. We will edit them now. So go into video settings. This should all be exactly as the way you want it, but I just want to make sure this is what it is. So current and automatic frame reordering, best quality, and this depends on what you want. I usually have it about halfway in between because here it takes a little bit longer and it doesn't really affect the quality. So anywhere between high and best will get you good looking. If you really want it to be super good, I would put it at best, but I keep mine about halfway in between. Now make sure this is at automatic and you can't even change that so leave it the same. And the compression type should be at H.264. There are a ton in here. So make sure it's at H.264. If you selected the web high multipass, it should be default at H.264. So once you have all these settings, press OK. And now go into sound settings. These should also be the same. They re you're really not going to be changing anything. Format should be AAC. Channels should be stereo left and right, and show advanced settings, change the render settings to quality to best, and I don't change any of this stuff, so leave the rest the same. You're not really changing anything. Okay, and after that, you're done. There's not really anything that you need to do. So now we're done, press OK, and go into here, and select the preset you just made. I named mine copy, and so before you export, you need to click scale to custom size and change it to 1280 to 720 if you want 1080p then change it to 1440 by 1080 and then you can add motion blur and that's basically it so I'm just gonna go ahead and export we will give it a few seconds this should be pretty fast because it's only like 12 seconds worth of video but as you can see 12 seconds does not take 12 seconds to render so keep in mind, if you have a 20 minute video, like some of my Minecraft Let's Plays, it will take over two hours. So that's how long it takes for me. You probably will have a better computer because my computer isn't that nice. It's nice, but it's not that newish, I guess. So if you look up here, I'm using 100% of my CPU power. So I would, you can't even use your computer really while you're trying to, if you want to play a game or something while this is exporting, you can't, I'm sorry. Your computer is basically rendered useless right now I wouldn't be using it it will speed it up if you're not using it at all so close any unnecessary applications and it will go faster just keep that in mind so you can't be you know trying to do a hundred things on your computer it depends on what computer you have obviously so and it's wrapping up almost done uh, there we go done so now we should get it to your desktop now if it's not on your desktop I forgot to mention this earlier, so I'm going to go back into the export settings. Right here, save it to your desktop unless you want it somewhere else. So make sure that's saved to your desktop and then export. 
So here is the video we are left with the quality. If you press Command I, you can see the quality. It tells you how big it is and the dimensions and all that stuff. So all we're really focusing on is 1280 by 720. So we'll take a look. Quality is pretty good. I would say it looks good. In the next video, episode 5, I'm going to show you how to convert it to MP4, which will probably decrease the size of the video a lot. But minorly, minorly decreasing the quality, almost unnoticeable. But it decreases the size of the video a ton, which makes it so much faster to upload to YouTube. You have no idea. It will help out so much. So make sure you stay tuned for that video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.